Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 27th, 2022. Well, my goodness, we don't care about no stinking economic numbers, and we don't care about bad tech earnings. We just want to hurry up and buy something. And oh my gosh, have the bulls been pushing hard, and particularly in the Dow. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. My goodness, my goodness, those bulls are fired up. And, you know, it just really doesn't matter what those economic numbers show. Um, somebody just they just want to buy something we keep hearing from the major bank institutions say there's problems coming we keep hearing about these mixed earnings reports and big tech is suffering pretty heavily but we just don't really seem to care because we just are in a rush to extend these indexes higher and higher so yesterday we had a big push to the upside the dow was up over 300 points at one point and then the bears kind of started to attack in the QQQ and really started to push uh, things back down. And we ended up putting in a bunch of shooting star patterns here, which are kind of, you know, those are the warnings of a potential topping pattern in the market. And we've certainly extended. We have rallied, even with the pullback yesterday, more than 1,600 points in the Dow in just just four days isn't that amazing um big buying going on and uh, again um, we keep getting report after report after report of negative economic numbers and it doesn't matter it's just get out of my way i want to buy something so let's keep a keep a close eye on this now certainly we are extended you couldn't rule out the possibility of a pullback at any time but notice right here this morning in the pre-market the bulls are all fired up again just push and push and push for an upside move and if you'll notice here in the technicals we're pushing up toward that 200 day moving average we sliced through that 50 like it wasn't even there and pushing up toward that 200 so there's no reason to believe they won't continue to try and rally up here. And if I, I'm gonna go back to this chart with nothing else on it, and you'll see this is a very significant resistance area in the chart as they continue to try and stretch and push us up here in the diamonds. Um, it's interesting that the index with only 30 stocks is doing all of the leading here in the market, while the bigger indexes are not showing us all that much strength. Now, if we take a look at our SPY, SPY, well, it faltered a little bit yesterday, and of course, it's pretty heavy with tech stocks uh, nowadays in the SPY. And as you can see, we shot up here and we tested this resistance right here in the chart. Here, let me draw a line on here. Stick that right in there. And as you can see, we ran into that price resistance and that's where that reversal occurred here on the day, pulling back, leaving that shooting star pattern. So if the bulls were to um, remain inspired, then I would look for a retest of that level up there, possibly even a breakthrough of that level. If the bears were to attack today, well, maybe a pullback back down here into this price support, which really wouldn't hurt the technicals of the chart at all. As a matter of fact, it would be a pretty healthy thing to see the index do. And if they pushed even further than that, that's where we would have a little bit of fear coming into the market if we start breaking some of those levels in the chart. Now, looking at our technicals here, we don't have as uh, as pretty a technical picture because now we're putting in a shooting star and a possible failing pattern at our 50-day moving average here on the SPY. And of course, the meta report's not going to be helping us out a whole lot here uh, today um, in these indexes. Let's take a look at our QQQ, and that's where the majority of the trouble lies. Um, as you can see, we pushed up here in the QQQ, pushed up to retest that high of uh, Tuesday. 
um, smacked our head into that resistance and then the bears came in and we backed that away and you can see we're trying to get a little follow through to that uh, today so it is entirely possible that the QQQ could lead us back down if um, we see more selling coming in here and, and more of an attack now let's take a look if the bears continue to attack here then i would suggest maybe down in here we might find a little bit of price support we'll want to watch that area right in there if that fails of course a um, little bit more support uh, down in that area of the chart and and I think we'd probably have some fear come into the market if we start falling into those regions and if those bulls find reason for inspiration today and they certainly could with Apple and Amazon and Intel earnings um, this afternoon well then we could maybe push through and attack this resistance and and see if we can push on higher here in the nasdaq but this is our weakest index and as you can see right now nasdaq also showing us that possible failure underneath the 50-day moving average if we were to take a look at our iwm the russell here um, another shooting star pattern um, but nothing terrible here again like the dow were we pushed up here into some um, pretty big resistance in price action in the chart, but and, you know just pulling back. And as a matter of fact, even though it pulled back, the IWM held up the best of all the indexes out there um, yesterday, um, closing um, with a, a bit more green than any of the other ETFs. So keep an eye on that. Now, if those bears were to attack and push this down, well, I would be looking for an area right in here to see if we can get some support and once again I think that would actually be a healthy thing for the market to do is just rest a little bit pull back consolidate that would set up a bullish pattern but if we continue to press to the upside um, well where can we go we could continue to push on up into these resistance areas of the chart in the Russell so watch that close now our moving averages here on this one we cross through that 50-day moving average we're gonna need a little bit more help to push us up there toward the 200 but we might just get that today if the Dow continues to surge to the upside so watch that closely now if we take a look at our VIX our VIX pulled back substantially and in fact really right at the end of the day really started to pull back pretty strongly um, at the end of the day so we have now officially broke that support here in the chart obviously we broke that uptrend and we're continuing to extend to the downside now one thing i will say is even though our indexes um, continue to zoom up they're zooming up in almost a parabolic move and we're starting to see that develop here just a little bit in the vix move as we're dropping um, and surprisingly with no fear even though um, you know our institutions keep warning us of you know big troubles ahead and um, um, our earnings are are uh, somewhat mixed um, we're just not feeling any fear it's just uh, we decided we wanted to buy and uh, boy they are sure doing it in quite a uh, quite a way so if we look right in here there is some price support right in that area we could potentially bounce off of that area if they fail um, fail this area pushing on down if the bulls can keep working their their magic here we could certainly push down into a level right in there and 25 is one of those big areas in the chart it kind of runs across here a long ways so that would be a fairly decent support to hold uh, for a period of time we'll have to watch wait and see now let's take a look at our t2122 now our t2122 and we've seen this before where we press t2122 up almost to the absolute limits we got a little bit of a hook in that yesterday and here we are the dow's trying to gap higher again this morning um, with all kinds of excitement so it is possible we could linger up in this area not really pull back for a bit um, as the market um, continues to just show lots of willingness for speculation buying however 
with the Dow and the SPY kind of showing a little bit of bearishness here, it is it is entirely possible that if we find inspiration here for those bears, that we could have a fairly substantial pullback. We've opened up a big opening to the downside here with all that stretch to the upside. And we really don't have a big upside opportunity here in the market overall. So, boy, I would be careful with buying up a bunch of long positions here. Um, despite all of the encouragement from the indexes to just buy, 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 I'd be a little bit careful and might be thinking about taking some profits here in case that really started to pull back. But of course, those big tech reports of Apple and Amazon could really, um, you know, perk up the sentiment here in the market and uh, push us on higher. So watch that close. Then if we take a look at our T2108, T2108 had a really big, whoops, got to get the right st stock there. Uh, T2108 had a really big improvement yesterday, 55 percent of the stocks above their 40-day moving average as we just surged to the upside. You can see we're up here testing this downtrend now in the chart, breaking through lots of resistance levels. We've struggled with this area before, so keep a close eye on that. Um, if we have that possibility like we did early on um, uh, this fall, we popped right up uh, through there before we saw the major fail. And that is certainly possible here again as well. Our T2107, well, our T2107, we've rallied up strongly. And if check this out, we're popping up through that big downtrend here. So big extension yesterday to the upside in T2107, 32%, almost 33% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. So that is a major improvement. We will want to be paying attention to that resistance in here because this is where we've run into trouble before, um, kind of overextending. So let's take a look at our T2101. Now T2101 has reversed itself a little bit, showing that little bit of selling that came in um, yesterday afternoon and leaving those shooting star patterns, um, kind of reversed us up, showing us that momentum may be shifting a bit back to the downside so you'll want to keep a close eye on that in case those bears have an opportunity to attack. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, well we've got a busy morning here today and certainly potential market movers uh, to deal with. First we've got a durable goods report here this morning. Consensus is actually expecting uh, our durable goods to improve. Um, I don't know, with the Whirlpool numbers being so disappointing, uh, that might be just a little bit of a stretch, but we'll see, we'll see. Watch that closely. GDP, GDP number coming in today, they're looking for the GDP number to improve as well. And jobless claims, well, the consensus is suggesting they're gonna remain pretty strong, but maybe have a few more claims coming in this week. So watch that closely. Remember, in this market, hot jobs number is bad for the market and we're going to see the fed continue to press that accelerator on interest rates if these numbers uh, don't start improving and show a little bit of weakness coming into the market so good can be bad here on the day we've got um our natural gas report later on today i doubt that moves the market much we've got some bond auctions down here and we've got the Fed balance sheet later on in the day, which probably isn't going to be uh, paid attention to much at all. And then as we plan forward, we're going to have to keep this in mind, guys. We've got the Fed's favorite number, the PCE number, will be coming out here uh, before the bell tomorrow morning. So we've got personal incomes and outlays with that core PCE number that the Fed really keys in on. And then we've got employment costs. We've got consumer sentiment and those pending home sales, which of course housing market is starting to become a major problem for us in our um, economy. Let's uh, take a peek at our earnings. Now, 
I can't cover, even come close to covering all the uh, notable earnings for today, um, but I will go ahead and mention a few here. If you want to catch the full list of those notables, please make sure you click the link below the title of the video um, there on YouTube, and that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can grab that full list of notables. So a few of those besides Amazon and Apple, um, we've got Intel. Um, that we'll be reporting today, so keep an eye on that. We're going to hear from uh, Deckers, a little bit of retail in there. We're going to hear from um, Gilead, so we're going to have some biotechs out there reporting. We've got some um, consumer defensive type stocks with international paper. We've got uh, Mickey D's. Mickey D's reporting today. Looks like they're zooming up here this morning. Uh, Mickey D's coming in. We've got Caterpillar. Caterpillar will be reporting today. They are zooming up here this morning. So keep an eye on all of these reports. There's going to be a lot of movement um, in the market likely and you just don't know um, as we move through the day, who's going to maintain control or gain control as these whipsaws and, and ugly price action continues to challenge um, even the best of traders out there. So just be a little bit careful. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could please do me that favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could also do me that favor, click those thumbs up buttons leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and i just want to say thank you so much whoever for everyone who does take the time to do that i truly truly appreciate it let's take a peek at um some of these stocks that might be setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you're going to have to do your own due diligence make sure that you're being very very careful about the volatility of the market and for goodness sakes don't chase stocks that are already well extended into their resistance areas of the chart we want to wait for pullbacks and resting patterns in these charts to make a potential purpose uh, purchase. Now let's take a look at one of the major factors that has been helping the market a lot um, move up the last few days and that has been the sinking dollar. The sinking dollar has helped a lot in improving uh, market conditions here, um, weakening up a little bit as I think China and Japan are running operations to strengthen their currency. So keep an eye on this. Now we've got a little bit of volatility here in the pre-market here on UUP. Um, keep an eye on that um, this morning. If we were to continue to sink down, and by the way, if you notice right in here, what we're doing is we're breaking that upside trend falling to the downside. We've got a lot of folks in, in right way options picking up some money on some puts on UUP. And what that is also doing is, is moving the bonds. The bonds have pulled back just a little bit. And what we're seeing is a pretty big surge here in the TLT index. So keep, a, keep an eye on TLT. Now what typically can occur in a market like this when the bonds have sold off so strongly well, we're starting to see those yields in the bonds falter just a little bit. And there has been a massive inflow into TLT. So keep a close eye on that. If this were to, by the way, I hold a small position in here. So just so you know that I have a bit of a bias on this position. Um, so, And this is not what I would consider a buy point in this chart. As a matter of fact, this is exactly where I would be waiting um, for a buy signal to occur. We have bounced off of the lows pretty strongly. And you can see we've got a little bit of a bearish uh, pattern showing up here in the pre-market. So a little bit of pullback or even a consolidation in here would seem very useful for that chart to create a decent pattern. It is possible we could pop on through and create that up here, but I would keep an eye on this. If those bond yields continue to show stress and start to shrink 
just a little bit, then you might start to see TLT spike up pretty hard. And this is a trade I've trade, mint, traded several times in bear markets like this, when all of a sudden there's a shift by the institutions and they start buying up bonds really fast. And these can really move quickly. Now, I'm not saying that's ready to occur here, but I would keep a close eye on it. The other thing you wanna be keeping a very close eye on if the dollar continues to shrink is looking for those uh, commodities out there. I mentioned DBC yesterday as a potential to keep an eye on and you can see DBC took off yesterday um, with the dollar sinking and it looks like it's moving on higher today. This is a commodity tracking ETF. So keep an eye on that. Now, certainly there's resistance in this chart that we need to deal with, and I don't know that I would want to chase it right now. It's up a little bit too far in the pre-market. You can see we're popping up. So I'd probably want some kind of a consolidation in here, maybe a pop through and a hold, maybe a pullback um, before I picked up an entry into that trade. But keep an eye on this, particularly if the US dollar weakens, because we'll see those commodity prices move up pretty strongly. Now, having said that, let's take a look at energy. Energy continues to surge to the upside, and I've mentioned this before, that if the dollar weakens, oil and gas stocks are likely to move up, and we're likely to see our gas prices move up as well. When we see commodity um, a dollar weaken, it means it takes more dollars to buy the same amount of oil or gas or any other commodity like gold, silver, steel, um, wheat, corn, anything. We typically see those prices rise. And we're seeing that here pretty strongly um, in XLE. And once again, I have a bias on this. I'm already up more than 50% on this trade. And this thing, um, just doesn't show any signs of stopping at least at the moment so watch that closely i wouldn't chase it here a little rest or pullback might set up an opportunity but we've heard from um shell um today whoops um that their profits essentially doubled here recently and um, they're going to be doing stock buybacks and a big dividend for um, holders of the stock so oil is continuing to be very very strong as we we see major problems in our supply chain here um, um, being affected around the world and as a matter of fact we have a, a major diesel shortage in the United States. So keep a close eye on this. Um, we can certainly see those energy prices continue to surge to the upside, particularly if that dollar weakens. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Be safe. Have an awesome day. And I'll see you right back here, bright and early Friday morning. I wish you all the best.